Well, so we're ready to look at what the stories are front and back pages of the newspapers. We'll later we'll be doing an online portal um, review. And we'll start, of course, with our own major online. And we know that uh, we're hearing there could be a protest in Tamale. It will come off, uh, despite the police raising concerns. And um, we have a couple of the stories on the front pages of the newspapers. Yes, we do. And you guessed right. Obinim is actually making the front page headline in the graphic this morning. Obinim declared wanted. Tema police locate training ground for armed robbers. Uh, the right climate is here. President declares at Ghana Club 100 events. And Newmont tops all. Also, Sierra Japan do four others honored. Uh, that story on page 16 inside the graphic. Just a little bit of that for you in the paper. And it says that eight successful African personalities have been honored for their contributions to development on the continent at this year's Lifetime Africa Achievement Prize in Accra. Two other distinguished African leaders, Pre President Robert Mugabe of Zimbabwe and Ken Mohammed, uh, the Sith of Morocco, were also given special plaques for the year. Uh, uh, exemplary leadership and this was organized by the Millennium Excellence Foundation uh, for us we want to say congratulations to Dr. Joseph Siao Ejapon the executive chairman of the Just Point group of companies yeah Fantastic. he deserves the award back page of the congratulations to you I didn't ask I didn't invite you to this conversation Roland uh, back page has drop points at home Wafa hold liberty these are the small stories you find back page <laughs> of the graphic Go ahead. Yeah, 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 you know, my, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Daily Guide, and uh, it's also on the front page, and you had an interview with him. We'll play it fully for you. Uh, flogging church members have been him wanted, and police give 24-hour ultimatum. Uh, Nana jabs NDC over insults, and then we have Achimota Forest not for sale, according to uh, Mahama. But uh, let's do a little bit politics. Um, Nana jabs NDC over insults. Presidential candidate of the MPP has appealed to various Zongo communities in the country to reject people who would come to them to peddle lies about him in the coming elections. He observed that the NDC members had continuously made it their agenda when they visited the various Zongo communities to cast insinuations and peddle lies about him, especially as the general elections drew closer. Mm, so... Uh, we have a lot of stories there too, and apparently in the story, there's also the uh, the the mother of one of the children who was involved. I think the the young lady, or one of them who was involved in that very um, uh, caning incident in the church, who is saying uh, saying that what uh, Angel Bishop Daniel Obinim did was the rightful thing. You know the. The, the mother of the girl, mm. after the conversation, yes, after the conversation, she said, Mera, na ya kasewye, na he said yes. He said, oh, come and send me boom, by my bishop. Center spread of the new swan, we have uh, drama over Jan Dollars, uh, I want a rich and loving husband, actress uh, Chichi Neblet, and now we have Belinda Isiyama to be buried September 10, and we know Belinda is... Um, a model who passed on appeared in uh, a video of uh, Braffo and to Pimpana. Pimpana, yes. Uh, uh, that was uh, featuring Bisakede. Yes. Mm. Beautiful lady. Mm. Charlie. I can do the Times yes, while you admire her. All right, front page of the <laughs> Ghanaian Times newspaper. Minister fumes <laughs> over delay of projects at home. Oh, Riots and murdered woman's funeral anniversary of Nyama's death observed and you know Roland it's uh, exactly a year I think yesterday mm -hmm. uh, since the death of this Ghanaian Times reporter who was also a, a, a presidential correspondent. There were, there, were, there were reports in the various uh, news media about um, uh, the presidency not giving uh, the victims uh, compensation, compensation. Mm -hmm. and uh, we hope that that is not true. If it is true, then I think I think that a year on they need they need to move in and do the right. Let thing. me just read uh, what's in the Ghanaian Times newspaper concerning the anniversary of Nyame's uh, demise. The observation of that it says a reflaying ceremony was held at the Osu Cemetery in Accra on Saturday to mark the first anniversary 
of the death of Samuel Nyama, the presidential correspondent of the Ghanaian Times. Mr. Nyama died in a gory accident involving the presidential press corps at uh, Doyumo Junction on August 20, 2015. The solemn ceremony, which was attended by the bereaved family, the management and staff of the Ghanaian, uh, the New Times Corporation, and members of the presidential press corps, was used to pray to God for uh, the repose of the soul of Le Nyama. Well, may his soul continue to rest in peace. Very young man. He left behind a very young family. Mm. Back page of the Ghanaian Times. I know Times. the son, the son uh, attends my church very often. He oh, okay, the, the little boy. Yes, oh. yes I am. Mm. Very handsome. Uh, yeah. Inter allies hold hearts, all stars stretch lead and Frimpon saves day for Kotoko. Some sports stories. Back page of the Ghanaian Times. We are front page of um, <coughs> the Business and Financial Times. Is that it? Oh, sorry. It says, uh, solid uh, teams matter. Professor Sam Latte tells businesses, uh, deposits uh, raise hot up as banks raise interest to attract savings. And we have other stories as well. Uh, back page, ministry moves to uh, bridge digital, uh, digital divide. And then we have uh, Amin Fiman, Rural Bank, picks two global awards in a month. They also have petroleum price indicators as at 18th August 2016. You're through. Uh, let's do the find out. Front page of the find out. Wasi, over one million flop in six years. They failed to score grades A1 to C6 in core subjects. And uh, state Quinn calls for peaceful elections. Let me spend a bit of time on the story on page two about the examination the WASI and it says over 1 million out of the over 1.5 million candidates who sat for the West Africa Senior School Certificate Examination between 2011 and 2016 failed to secure grades A1 to C6 in the three core subjects required for admission into tertiary institutions. The cutoff points for admission into the universities in a country is A1 to C6. Data from the West African Examination Council analyzed by the finder revealed that only 429,604 uh, out of the over 1.5 million candidates who sat for WASI within the six year period uh, to obtain grades A1 to C6 in the key core subjects. Okay, so you can read further the analysis that the finder has done. Uh, but also the documentation and visa fraud units of the Criminal Investigations Department has in its grips a 41-year-old man uh, for allegedly defrauding a businessman of $25,000 under the pretext of supplying him with some herbal products. The suspect, David Apia, is in the papers. You can read the rest of the story in The Finder. Roland. Front page of um, the Daily Statesman, Mahama fails to stop Tamale Demo today. Stop the deception of uh, foundation building at Kumia Koshin's president and changes coming, uh, we're told. Uh, we also have uh, Indum Koshin's Mahama, don't use my tax money to buy votes. Uh, government lies over first hack flight from Tamale Airport exposed and a Kufado to Mahama, Western North resident will decide whether I slept or not. So those are the newspapers yeah let's finish okay. off with the Ghanaian observer newspaper it says Akufuado replies Mahama over sleeping on road jibes freebies sharing shows Mahama has failed according to Akufuado PLB slams me Lante van der Poy NBC fingered in Chinese Galam say police chase man 46 over money uh, counterfeiting a new Kole Wulomo installed Times are hard, Demo Rocks Tamale. Another headline there you find front page of the Ghanaian Observer newspaper. So, I'm mm. through? Yes, you are. Online portal. All right, we'll start. Uh, we'll do myjoyonline.com over the wall. Message from the morning man. Uh, that's on radio. You can read it if you're interested. Let's move on. Uh, literal, literary discourse, lexical ambiguity. Okay, this is big enough. <laughs> But you can spend time and read it. I'm sure it's a, a feature. Uh, Manasseh ends letter to my future wife by actually finding Were you at the event? I didn't know about I this. I wasn't. I was on radio, so I couldn't. Yeah, it was, I mean. He For close-knit. Yes. Close-knit friends yeah. and family. Yeah. That was great. A and colleagues, I guess. Mm. And then, uh, yeah, beautiful wife. But you, you are likely not to see her face. 
what she, she was an announced yes in the photographs i see <laughs> next <laughs> A uh, truck crashes into building, three critically injured, and it says three people are in critical condition at the Holy Family Hospital in Techman in the Nohaf region after a Kia truck skipped off the road and rammed into them. Very sad story there. Opposition parties to embark on demo in Tamale despite police postponement requests. Uh, Tema police issues 24-hour ultimatum to Bishop Obinim to report. He's kind of like the hottest bishop today. Uh, stories about him everywhere. Book review of Manasseh's Voice of Conscience by Kofi Akpabli. Mm. It'll be good to read. And you know Kofi Akpabli uh, used to be a columnist. Used he still to work. is, or okay, what? Okay. Mm. Used to work fully with the Daily Graphic, then yeah. retired, but I think he's still a columnist uh, yeah. with the Daily Graphic. He writes a lot on uh, tourism issues. And I think issues I've engaged him on my entertainment yes, but program writes already on that. Also on other issues of relevance. Okay. And then books, I think. Yeah. yeah. He reviews a few. All right, let's end this. Uh, new teacher recruits verified in Kumasi. It says education authorities in the Ashanti region have begun a process to verify 287 new teachers seeking. Oh, uh, an appointment with the Ghana Education Service. That's it for myjoinline.com. So we go to uh, CTFM. 2016 economic growth will go about 5%. NDC has made 20 promises. PPP, we're told 48. And, uh, uh, and this is coming from Imani Ghana. says it's counting them still. Uh, NDC ah, PPP has, has made more promises than the mm, And it says it's counting those party. of the MPP too. Um, uh, NDC has cut ties with CDD. Oh, that's sad. No, oh, Esiye Dunketia said it in his interview. He I said, I they, I said since 2002, they've not been dealing with CDD. Yeah, but CDD. I thought I heard him or somebody else say that they had... No. Resolved. No. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Si since so this is uh, just Edward Sari reinforcing just that. Just re re oh. re re-emphasizing. Is it because of the uh, research, you know? I think they they say they've always had problems with them um, since the beginning of the century. So, wow. uh, we have enough enough biometric machines for the December polls. Uh, a story attributed to the Electoral Commission. That's good news. Uh, we hope that uh, I'm not excited yet because you may have yeah. enough, but how long can they withstand the and pressure? How quickly? Yeah. How quickly can you also have a turnaround mm. for the people who come? So if you have my, my difficulty is a lot uh, more so that you can quickly replace after every three yes. hours or something, then yes. we'll be super confident. Yeah. But now we've expanded the the polling station. Yes. So we have now twenty nine thousand and we're hoping that uh, it used to be twenty three thousand. So to make the numbers a lot smaller at yes. the polling station. So so now averagely we have just about five hundred people. Mm. The polling station. If the great. machines would not quickly. mess up, so at least they need to have backups, like that. maybe extra two, yeah. so that when one is not, one goes down, you can take the other yeah. quickly. Uh, we have other stories there as well. Muhammad promotes police officers. Uh, Nigerian businessman remanded for robbing. Opposition parties ready for uh, Dimiya demo. Is we that have the to times are hard. Okay. I think that's it. It's like bam, we had that. This one in, is Dimiya in Dabani. I don't know. Maybe this one is that. I don't know, man. I have to ask. Uh, <laughs> uh, go up, go up, and let's see what the interesting stories. Oh, uh, apparently, um, Charlie Wati 2016. I hear this one was not as exciting as. Uh, well, there were, there were a lot of things, uh, you know, proud to. You know, I think now they were giving accreditation to people uh, who wanted to use the. So I'm not sure if that was. But the, I saw people posting on Facebook and saying the place was choked on Saturday. Okay and that they were praying that it wouldn't be as choked on Sunday. <laughs> so I think it was highly patronized I'd wanted again. to go this year. I didn't, I didn't see it early. Because mm. the last year, um, Akufi Smatabini, yes. he went and was took yeah. nice pictures and put it on his Facebook wall. Yeah, and I, thought I think he awesome. did a beautiful report for us because as well. Because I really love the arts, uh, the artistic aspect of it, yeah. and the abstract nature. True. Of some of I wanted to go, but uh, I, I don't know whether the restrictions was going to affect me because mm. I didn't want to go and do something, come and put it on air, and then later on somebody will come yeah. and say, you, see. You, see. you know, you owe us because you're using it for commercial purposes yeah. or something of the sort. Let's look at the BBC page, the Africa page of the BBC. Rebel admits destroying Timbuktu treasures. Shame on you. An Islamist rebel has told judges he will plead guilty to destroying religious sites in the 
Malian city of Timbuktu, prosecutors at the International Criminal Court say. Uh, let's go down. There's a story about this dog being named Buhari in Nigeria. Uh, the owner of the dog was, arrest, was arrested, released, and has been rearrested, I hear. Oh, BBC reporting it on radio. I'm not sure it's here but, yet. But for example, if, if you name dogs, because for example, I have a dog called Frank. <laughs> Thank God there's no Frank here. No, but <laughs> I have Frank in my family. So, uh, yeah, but the, 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 uh, somebody, somebody Because, gave, you know, pets, pets protect you, kind of. Somebody said that, for instance, people who keep pets are really pet lovers. They are animal lovers. It's because they really love them. Really? So if I named my pet Roland, then it's because I love you, Roland. Well, that's, and I'm that's very interesting. I'm extending that same love to my pets. <laughs> that's why I'm using the name Roland. Oh, so, interesting. Yeah, but we'll see. But we'll look for that story. Uh, I recall to win first Olympic, and I think Africa won... 45, if my memory is correct. Uh, and 45 Kenya, of the medals? 45 of the medals. Kenya topped it. With how many? I can't, can't remember. remember. Charlie, my head is just, just one. Man. The, and the US topped. It's for, yeah. And then the UK followed. Yes. U, uh, US, UK, and I think China. <laughs> Somebody wrote on social media, Ghana, we went for clay. I was <laughs> <laughs> uh, was crabeche. <laughs> I said we went for clay. I said no, we went for tin. <laughs> Mark, Mark Kunku. So we're talking about the Olympics. We know that officially it's over and it's been handed. Is it Tokyo? And I'm, I'm thinking that if it's Tokyo, Charlie, we for save money Charlie, and go. As for Tokyo, we have to I'm save going. and go. That will be in four years. Yes. No, it's a. Uh, yes, it is. Russia, in four years. Yeah, yeah, you know. No, no, it's. Uh, Russia has to be do. What happened? Charlie, I okay. Well, ah. so you know this, um, this is Ethiopian runner. Uh, in a political politics with that sign there yeah. that he did. He claims that when he goes back, he will be... Yes, interestingly, his, because you, uh, the, there's uh, the, the protest in Ethiopia by some of the, I think they said, is it the biggest ethnic grouping or something? It's about lands. They say their lands are being claimed. So this gentleman, this sign he's is... He's from that Yeah, time. he's from... Well, I didn't hear them say exactly, but he supports the protests. So this and was just in solidarity. Why yeah. did he do the sign then? Yeah, that's it. I mean, you know, to, oh, no, to do to, to real, real. No, to get us talking. That's uh, it. Because otherwise, who who knew this was something? So let me let me let me ask. So now he he, he wants to remain in Brazil. Where does he want to be? No, he he wants to either go to Kenya or to the U.S. That's what I heard. <laughs> so seek asylum Kenya in the Vietnam U.S. <laughs> but Roland, interestingly, his family remains in Ethiopia. His wife and children are <laughs> there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But he, he, he doesn't want to go back because oh, the, there are known people who uh, protested and still protesting in, in Ethiopia who have apparently allegedly been arrested. No, I think, was it? Yeah, silver, second. But second why phase. couldn't... It's, um, he did this on the track. Asio. What was his name? Yeah. Highly. Ha, no, the gentleman. Who's that? The gentleman who is uh, the marathon runner from Ethiopia. He came to, we, you interviewed him. Yeah, here. that's his name. Okay. Highly, right? Selassie. Okay. Yeah. I, forgot. I know there's Selassie in there, but that's uh, it. Yeah, okay? that's it, right? Gibra Selassie or something. That's, that's his name. Now, at the end of the day, he lives in it. I'm not sure he comes from the same tribe, though, but I think you, 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 why don't you cement your legend? Ah, okay. Roland. Cement your name, then you can lead the protest. I think that makes a. a ah, but this is significant. He's got everybody talking. Yo, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I he did it. I, 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 I also he did it uh, on the tracks and also at his press uh, briefing session. He, he's he did going it to again. remain in a British. <laughs> I'm you, Africa, the other the French. So we we'll see how that goes. We'll give, give uh, but you know what that means. Once he came second, he's a fantastic runner. Yeah. Another country would quickly oh, want him. Yes, it's and true. his family <laughs> would be, yeah. Uh, so it's true, it's true. what are it. you saying? Oh, it's true. But he's bold. He's bold. No, oh, I think too. He's and, bold. And many people if you believe in the cause. And, and many people have used uh, sports arenas or venues to, to, to make their issues known. Mm. Uh, in the 70s, there were um, some U.S. athletes who... I think uh, have, we're having solidarity with the blank, uh, Black Panther movement at a time. And um, when they were 
going to take their medals, they made a sign. And I think the, was it this one? I think something of this yeah. one. Yeah. And they made mm. a fist. Or, or but in Ghana, do we have anything that yeah. signifies anything? As far as <laughs> we fight. Either you are, you are Avro or you are Asante or something, or you are MPP. We don't MDC. have a sign. We don't have we anything. We no don't symbols. Do nothing. We don't do symbols. We only insult each other. Yeah, like you have to say I'm the telling words. You, for example, <laughs> I keep saying this. A Lunda will approve in parliament. NDC will come and insult MPP. Well, that money buys only Pogba, one. <laughs> and then he'll be used by Jose Moreno or, or Zidane. Yeah. Or, uh, so, you know, significantly, Ivory Coast wants something really big. Nigeria also wants something big. I mean, they are our closest neighbors. What did we win as Ghana? in the Olympics, nothing really. We just went to represent some. How, how many medals did Nigeria win? I can't remember, but I, I remember the football, the gold. Was it gold? Yes, it was, right? Nigeria yeah. winning gold, where? Ah, it, they've been trending some, is it some Chinese, Charlie Dennis, you know this, help me, has given the them some was won big by money. Uh, some big money, I'm sure it's under something, something. Oh. He said okay. Nigeria won bronze, at least. Was it bronze? Mm. Okay. And then there was this uh, Nigerian athlete, and sh she she was, I think, a Roa or something. Or mm. And she won silver or something. The one that they say She's caught the attention of uh, Snoop Dogg. Well, I, 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 I was reading the entertainment side <laughs> of it, not the actual <laughs> thing. You see, yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, we've been talking the, the lighter side of the sport, the Olympics. It's ended. And the question now is, after investing the millions of dollars in the infrastructure, what do whole cities do with the infrastructure? Mm. Because um, ultimately, uh, it's supposed to have an impact on the local economies after the Olympics. And um, that, that uh, we're told that in recent years or in, in recent decades, apart from London, which seemed to have maximized the use of the facilities they, they used in hosting the last uh, Olympic Games, we've had uh, Sydney, et cetera, not doing well. Mm. So. Uh, and uh, we it's it's also been said that real real de Janeiro could be next the facilities built millions of dollars and really will benefit nobody mm. well there was also a, a, another significant question that was asked we don't think about uh, this question but a day after the olympics what happens to all those who participated because you know they they practice and train for several years and they take part in these events mm. Which Especially, I know so those who train do? very well at the gymnasts and those who do the acrobatic stuff mm. because they have to um, make sure they adhere to strict uh, regimen, your food, etc. Because uh, I if you are doing that, you, you, you have to have a flexible mus muscle or reflexes, etc. And it takes a lot out of them and saps a lot out of them. Then the question also is, what if they don't, they don't win? They don't get to win. Yeah. Do, how, how do they feel they've disappointed their country and people, etc.? I think in Africa, we don't tend to think about those things. But, uh, so what did they do? What did I hear? A lot of them, uh, a lot of the athletes would be frustrated, depressed, you know. Wow. Because this is what they train for, and wow. it comes just once in how many years? Wow. Okay, so roll at the table. United States, 121. They've got 46 gold, 37 silver, 38 bronze. And then Great Britain overall in with, with the medals, 67. China has 70, Russia 56, Germany 42, Japan 41, France 42, South Korea 21, Italy 28, yeah. and, and then and Australia you said the third 29. Is China. Yeah, the third is China. Okay. Usually they will be second, yes. but in this one they are third. Yeah, because uh, Great Britain won a lot more gold. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay, well, that's it. Uh, <laughs> stay with us. We've got sports coming up here on the show.